studio. Well, well, I was about to say something, but touching the lenge. Anyway, guys, our guest is in studio. If you are a gym fanatic, well, you better be in his gym. He goes by the name of Frankie Carey, aka Frankie Just. Jim Eid, welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Karibu sana sana sana. Thank you mm. for having me. Hey, and so for the guys who are just seeing you maybe for the very first time, yeah. sisi hapa tuna kujua jamani. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're even having the behind the scenes was talking talking over here. Kindly do introduce yourself and um tell them what you do. Yeah. Hey. So my name is Frankie. I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, fitpreneur. I do a lot of uh, fitness vlogging and social media work pretty much. Hmm. Yeah. That's me in a nutshell. <laughs> Which is the real name, Frank? Francis is Francis. my full name. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Kuna jina moja kama simu. Kiari. Kiari. Hey, that's what. Yeah. Francis Kiari, but people know me as Frankie just Jimmy. Even outside people are like Frankie just Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my government now name. You know, <laughs> yeah. Now your fans are getting to know you personally. Yes. Yeah, we know the real name. Pia, yeah, you know. You know. And anyway, Kiari Busana, thank you thank for Thank you for having by. me. Mm. So um, currently, um, una vlog, na bado, you know, the gym thing. Like, you have a lot of stars who come and show up at your gym. And yes, You're yes. that guy. Uh, How is it? Like, you know, the attention, you know. Yeah. <laughs> how is it in what sense? Like, how is it? Like, how are you? Like, you have all the celebs are coming to work with you to look yeah. good. Yeah. You know, yeah. how's the experience working with different people, like different brands? And it's awesome. Them look good. It's awesome because, mm -hmm. I mean, the more celebrities come to you, the more the normal one actually comes to you because they have their own following mm -hmm. and all that. So you get a lot of visibility mm -hmm. when you get the celebrities to come on board. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're a celebrity trainer, it, it shows that you have some sort of level of you know quality that you're offering. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good yeah, I want thing. to know why your celebrity is coming to you. I don't even know, to be honest. Um, I started the normal way. Um, I think because I try to do my fitness in a much unique mm -hmm. manner rather than what everyone else does where they tell you you need to, you know, boil your food, you need to do this, you need to do that. I try to make it interesting where I can tell you you can have your ice cream, you can have your pizzas and all that. And it's, it's exciting because the celebrity lifestyle, mm -hmm. you don't really mm -hmm. have time to be sitting in the kitchen and cooking and doing all this. You want to do the fast food stuff. You want to still work out and go for your shows and go for your concerts or whatever it is, but still live a healthy lifestyle. So you want flexibility. And that's what we offer. We offer flexibility. We even call it flexible dieting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that's why celebrities are always like, we want that. Yeah. yeah, so let's dive in the deep end. Boom! <laughs> You've been trending. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So, First, let's start with how have you been dealing with emotionally? How are you are you okay emotionally? Yeah. Are you fine? Yeah, 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 so tell yeah. people why you're trending. I'm going to quail. I'm going to quail. What's happening? Chat spot. What's going on? Yeah, uh, we just had us uh, differences mm -hmm. uh, in the family, mm -hmm. and we decided to go separate ways. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so right now we're just working, on trying to take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. um, Trying to continue working on social mm -hmm. media and yeah, transitioning mm -hmm. into to mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So how do you take the fact that now she has opened her uh, personal YouTube channel? Oh no, I support her. You know, we, the thing is, people think we don't talk. Mm -hmm. We talk every day. Mm -hmm. And even I, if I see something on social media or she sees something on social media, she just screenshots and sends it to me. So um, we, we are on a different level compared to someone, if someone was just like dating. Dating, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kids yeah. Yeah. So it's not gonna be just like, I've cut you off by, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's so yeah. much connection there and she'll always be there because she's been there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, awesome. Amazing. Ah, you know, eh, kidogo social media. Unajwa kidogo umesema, kidogo umenda separate way, kidogo. Na kuambia kuhivi my yanks. <laughs> My answer for lips. Mm. Na kwambia emojis ni, acha kwambia kwanza emojis imejaa ni za moto. 
this I'm guy seen. is fire. Wait, 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 wait. The way he speaks, no, is me, I was, me, I was like, celebrity. The way he I mean, looks, because he's a snack. Is, I'm a <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you know, you Usha, you know, it helps if you're a snack, and then you know yes. you're telling people to come work out with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. So the, that's kind of why I was just wondering. Yeah. Yeah. No, but just to go ahead and say what you just said, because I think it's important for us to talk about it, because mm. these days what's happening is that we've spoken about it on the show. We've hosted on the show as well people who have gone into business in a period of time when they are together or a couple yeah and what then happens after that sadly is that things go one way or another yeah any yeah. piece of advice just in terms of how to be able to manage especially when your brand is in conjunction with somebody we three for example our brand is is right now aligned yeah. and so if one of us or anything was to, ideally it does affect same thing with mm. if you are working with somebody, mm -hmm. respective, irrespective of if it's your better, your better half or not. Any piece of advice or anything you would tell maybe to your younger brother if they wanted to go in that direction that you could have picked up from an experience like this one? Yeah, um, I would personally say solve it between yourselves first, right? Because in this industry, we show people what we want them to see, of course. Mm -hmm. right? So if you're having you know the good times you're showing them just the good times mm -hmm. yeah. so even when when it comes to the bad times you can pick and choose what you need to show so them true. you don't have to tell everyone everything yeah mm -hmm. i mean there, there's been so much speculation out there mm -hmm. and we know the reason why we went our separate ways but mm -hmm. people are already saying oh it's this it's that it's that and if you ask them where'd you hear it i saw it on this blog i saw it on that blog no one has actually said maureen actually told me or frankie actually told me this no one has said that. So, what I would say is solve it between yourselves and then just put a statement which you feel will just cover everything yeah. holistically okay. and you put it out there. But you already know what you guys have been talking about. You already yeah, know what you've true. dealt with yeah. and you deal with it privately. Yeah, thank yeah. you for sharing that. Yeah. What do you think the general health status of Kenyans is because <laughs> I mm -hmm. mean you, the truth is as you just said a lot of people are now a lot more into health and fitness and eating healthy and the likes um, yeah. and so yeah I actually do see more people kind of like you know these days being into it what do you think based on what you see on the ground in your clients yeah how are people um, taking the idea of healthy living and exercising well right now we're pretty much westernized so everyone is trying to become fit Reason being, there's a lot of fast foods that have just come mm -hmm. about. I mean, KFC is around and all these other places. Mm -hmm. So people are noticing the need to have, you know, a healthy lifestyle. Before, no one was really into it because you, you know you're going to have your ndoma, your nguashe, oh. and all these other things. You're going to be healthy either way. But with all that westernized yeah. foods that have come in, people want to change. And then also social media makes you want to become this type of person. They see... A lo for the longest time, people didn't think I was Kenyan because of my fitness level. Like, are you sure this guy is in Kenya? He's not in the States or whatever. And I'm like, no, I just hold myself to that level. Mm -hmm. I want to be, I, I place myself as that guy in, in States, the, the ripped guy, the rock or whatever. That's who I'm trying to be like. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be just like, you know, an average physique guy. <laughs> and people are now starting to see that because you, you're seeing it mm -hmm. online and you're like, oh, okay. Frankie's Kenyan and he looks like this. Why can't I look like this? Mm. Then you start training, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I think that's um, pretty much the health industry, mm. uh, the Kenyan health industry right now. Mm. Mm. So how did you get into fitness? Um, well, I used to play rugby mm. quite well, actually. I went to North Wales on a rugby scholarship. Mm. Um, but I had a knee injury, which kind of put me out. Mm. And... I didn't really know what I wanted to do with myself. And you know this whole uh, concept of going to university because of your folks, oh. right? Mm -hmm. So I had to follow that route. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I did my first degree in uh, no, uh, business management because of my mom. Mm -hmm. And then after <laughs> I finished that, I was like, okay, I don't want to go work. So what do I do? I want to do more school, school because <laughs> school, I mean, yeah. uni yeah. Yeah. is... <laughs> It's like, everything, yeah, you know, it's right, it's right. <laughs> freedom, like, partying, yeah. everything, you know, you no bills, complain. nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me go back to school. So I did my master's mm -hmm. again to please my mom and to be in that, you know, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 
um, soon as I finished my master's, I was actually thinking of doing a PhD because of the same, same concept. But then I was like, wait, I can't just keep doing this forever. <laughs> um, and when I was doing my master's, I was doing my master's in uh, international business management. Mm. I was like, what do I want to do? Do I want to stay in an office and work for someone else and build their dream? Or do I want to build my dream? I know myself, I've never worked for anyone ever mm -hmm. so <laughs> the thought of it just like freaked me out being employed <laughs> yeah i don't know how to deal with authority i just uh -huh. can't right so uh when i was doing my masters i signed up uh in a different uni to do um ad advanced diploma in sports nutrition mm -hmm. so i was just going back and forth i was in manchester this time uh, so i was going back and forth in the morning i was doing uh, my advanced diploma in the evening i would do my uh, business management classes and i did that for about a whole year wow. and i left with you know a master's yes. and nutrition, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and advanced diploma yeah. in uh, sports nutrition oh, okay. yeah so when i finished that i wanted to do the same thing that i'm doing here mm -hmm. in the uk but the market is lucrative but it's very saturated no. so there's a lot of people doing it yeah but there's a lot of money to be made. And I figured, I'd, I'd just come, uh, come home uh, on holiday, December holiday, and I was thinking, there's no one doing personal training in Kenya. When I started, there was no personal training. Mm -hmm. It was gym instructor, yeah. you know, the guy who sits in the gym and shows you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Funny, yeah. Funny, funny, you know, mm -hmm. he's probably got it from a magazine or whatever. Mm -hmm. But personal training, there was no such concept. Yeah. And I was trying to pitch it to uh gyms but they were like no why you should come here i pay you i'm like no you don't need to pay me mm -hmm. i'll bring you clients and we'll i'll give out. you yeah. money yeah. and they didn't understand that concept <laughs> the biggest issue was uh -huh. our trainers won't feel nice about it yeah. so, i don't care about your trainers do you want money or not <laughs> <laughs> all about yeah. the money the check money. yeah so even the first i think almost like half half year to a year i was training my my clients at uh, Uhuru Park, just with what? the towel. I had no equipment, nothing, just with the towel. Mm -hmm. So I just made sure I took a before picture and an after picture. picture. And when I took the after picture, I posted it up on social media, and the rest is history. Like everyone just like, oh, I want I want to start training. <laughs> gym started calling me. Hey, come train people. Mm -hmm. You can come train for free at our gym. Post it up. Blah blah blah. Crazy. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> like you have the Shagam game, but you know, we had to listen to the lad. Man. You know, he's got some vibe too. Okay. Okay. And he's a very interesting person. So, we're going to take a short commercial break. We'll be right back and definitely to them well as much cheesy. <laughs> Aha, Kwenye to the go. Today we're gonna be doing riddles. Nana Johnny, like you solve things, whatever thing you go kwakadangwe and you konayo. So, guys, you're picking to two papers. Karatasi mbili mbili. Pick two papers and then pass the shoe. So, kwa karatasi, there's a riddle. You don't read the answer. You ask. We try to guess the answer. Alright. So, um, okay. Let me start you guys off. If you have me, you want to share me. If you share me, you haven't got me. What am I? Mm. This one is so easy. If you have me. If you have me, you want to share me. If you share me, you haven't got me. What am I? Man. Give us a clue. <laughs> give us a clue. Man. If you have me. If you have me, uh -huh. you want to share me. If you share me, a secret. You... Yes. Yay. Oh. oh. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, this one is super easy. I got it. Yeah, I got it. So, what's the difference between yesterday and tomorrow? This is very easy. Today. Yeah. I'm not so much more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? We did that. We did this. We have done this like ten times. And why do we forget all the time? It's a stupid one as well. Ati, what comes? What comes? What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Once 
M. Yeah, it was something like that. It was something like that. <laughs> Even this one is we've done before. Please don't let me down, girls. Yeah. Okay. I can only live where there is light, but I, but I die if the light shines on me. What Shadow. am I? Thank you, Jackie. Okay, guys are on point. Yeah. I'm going to miss switch. I'm a float. I'm just, I'm just here. Yeah. Yeah, ni lodi koko ni upepo. Okay. How could the cowboy travel on Friday, mm. then sleep two days, and then travel back home? On Friday, uh, like it's a stupid answer, man. He didn't travel. <laughs> How could the cowboy travel on Friday, uh -huh. then sleep two days, and then travel back home on Friday? How can he sleep two days and travel? Okay, let me just give it your best shot. He, he slept two days and still traveled. Still traveled and, yes, and came started. back on yeah, Friday. Yeah, slept two days then he came. <laughs> So then he traveled two days before Friday. He traveled on Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Hey. Who's that? <laughs> don't you know. And in this area, the horse's name is Friday. That's oh. why. Like, no. <laughs> I actually thought you were going to get uh, it. That's why I was like, sure. I like, didn't say you traveled no. on a horse. Yeah. You could have been <laughs> on a plane yeah. or on yeah. a boat or a no. ship. You were sober and traveled back home on Friday. He was on Friday. The horse is Friday. I thought you'd get it. Just you meant that two days before Friday. Because I'm pushing you and I'm lost. Eh? Mm. <laughs> this is so easy. Uh -huh. What has a, what has a head and a tail but no body? A coin. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of tree can you carry in your hand? Oh my God. A palm tree. Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I wouldn't have guessed that. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. Give me food and I'll live. Give me water and I'll die. I thought imagine them to New Zealand and and live on water. I know that we've done that. Before. Give me food and I'll live. Give me, give water, me water and I'll die. And I'll die. Give me Think of what water would put out. Fire. 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 Thank you. Wow. Wow. Guys. Yeah, you you know you feed it. If you feed a fire, it, it lives. Will... <laughs> Tomorrow, Okay. Tell us about your personality. You know, yeah. you look so serious. But yeah. you're so easy to talk to, yeah. and you're, as it, you, you're like a, a fun kind of guy. I don't say maybe. Okay, from Instagram anyway. If you put trainer, na kuambi onesa kula mashakuru na penna. Piercings and tattoos, you. Are. Hey. Oh, yeah. People are asking on social yeah, media. Yeah, it's more about you being a snacker. Exactly. You know, you're saying you're just your personality. Like, Tell us about your personality. Hey. I don't even know about my personality. Um, I'm not that outgoing. Like I don't go clubbing a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when I do, like, I'm really, really, I go left field. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I am, I, I like being serious. Well, I look serious. People say I look serious. Mm -hmm. But when they start talking to me, they're like, oh, okay, you're actually an easy guy. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess, yeah, that's pretty much my personality. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the piercings um, and tattoos, Ninga? Yeah, I have, like, I don't know, a wild look because I have piercings, tattoos, mm -hmm. I ride a bike, like, you know. So <laughs> yeah, like, you're that, that guy. <laughs> you're that guy, by the way. Yeah, yeah but I, I, I had way more piercings. Um, I, I guess with age, I kind of, like, started moving I can relate. I, I can relate. Yeah. I can relate. I had, like, I had one up here. I had one on my eyebrow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but kind of like toned it down, age, you know? Yeah, Uze, Uze, I know. But tattoos is something that I'll always have. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have a whole sleeve, like this whole arm is done up. Mm. I'm looking to do my leg next. Yeah. Awesome. I like art. Wow. Yeah, art. Sure it is. yeah. Mm. So um, to people who might be interested in basically getting fit and in, in this case, as we just talked about, maybe just yeah. a piece of advice about how a personal trainer would be able to help your... Um, your fitness regime, yeah. or how if people, if you have opportunity for to work with people, just basically, I'm sure they want to know. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much, uh, if it's the email address, it's just jimit254 at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email. Uh, we'll definitely get back to you. 
or if it's just Instagram, there's the Just Jimmit uh, page, and then there's my personal page, which is Frankie underscore Just Jimmit. Mm. So yeah, just hit us up on any of those um, channels. Mm. Okay. Mm. I know you're just a funny little time. Tonight, weekend, when you're not weights. just gymming it. You, just, you can't be lifting weights all the weights time. I lift weights 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> daily, on a daily, <laughs> on a daily <laughs> basis, man. Yeah. That explains yeah. the muscles, you know. <laughs> hey, yeah. Watcha, when a muscle, I'll tell you, you know, I'll I do not know. Yeah. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you, energy. You cut off eating junk food. You can just drink yola. Yeah. Okay? And Jackie, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Leo. Yes. Come on, you're going to get healthy. No matter what energy, you know, yola, yola, silly, silly, all guy. Sema muka pa ke video. Has four flavors: mango, strawberry, banana, and vanilla. All you have to do is just pop in in any supermarket, and you will get yourself a yola cereal milk. So let's go. Eka, uh, 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 yola, energy today. Oh, wait, right after you're saying up, guys. We are going on. Thank you for coming through. We are going to see what happens in your life. So on Monday, y'all come prepared. We are ready. Bye bye. <laughs> we are coming ready. Bye. See ya. Well, on Monday, I want to red carpet. <laughs>